again. So I'm doing another episode of the steering wheel. So I, I thought that I had everything all fixed up and everything for, uh, for this game. And, uh, with uh, setting it up for a steering wheel, but apparently um, it's not working. It's uh, for, for the one car, like the, the problem with this game is it's fucking inconsistent as fuck. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I, I, I set up and I got everything set up exactly the same way that I had it. Uh, you know, didn't make any changes. is I had when I was driving the uh, Corvette and this car is spinning out I can't fucking control it and I got the exact same fucking shut up And I can't control the fucking car. Yeah, I can't I can't control this one. See how see how the car is like doing this? Setup works for one car, doesn't have a car to have the same motion. They, well, they, they, they say you have to go into your car tuning setup and you have to tune it each car individually, which doesn't make any goddamn fucking sense. But, like, why, why the fuck would they do that? Yeah, motherfucker. Like they, 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 they say I gotta control that through this. Let's see. So. That's so like why why could they fucking make the game like that? Like I'm still getting the car is handling it getting better, but I'm still getting wobbles like that. The 
with this car, I should... I should be able to do this track. Less than uh, less than uh, two minutes and twenty five seconds. So, the game's extremely inconsistent when it comes to this shit. Now, what I'm going to do, this one, I'm going to, just a minute, car, clean car, and, All right, so So now the thing with this game, it fucking glitches out too. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. See, th this is th this is like one of the fucking... Alright, so, and anyway, you've seen what this setup, what this card does. Now I'm going to go with the controller, and I'm going to fucking show you...
why this game fucking sucks. All right.
So there you go. I just proved uh, two minutes, 18 seconds <laughs> with, uh, with, with, with the wheel. It was like three, it, it was like three minutes uh, per lap. Like that's fucking bullshit. I mean, that shouldn't be, you know, this Trans Am is a fucking powerful fucking car. I mean, the way I got this car set up, I mean, I could get better lap times. I just have to take off the traction control. But I, I had to have the fucking traction control on because if I take it off with the wheel, I'll just spin all over the place even worse. Like, it, it's fucking bullshit. I mean, it, it just, you know, so, I, I, you know, I mean, with with the Corvette, I did pretty damn good because, well, I think because the car is probably not as powerful of a car and therefore, uh, because it's going at slower speeds, I can control it a lot better. You know, I can, it, 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 it's, it's controllable. But I'll definitely get better lap times with this thing than what I do with the wheel. And like we're talking, we're talking about a wheel. Like the, these fucking people spend a lot of money on these fucking things to 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 emulate actual real driving. I mean, I I know people that got setups that are like the three, four, five thousand dollars. You know, like fuck, you know, I I got this set up for sixty bucks. But the the thing is, brand well, brand new. Uh, you would well, you can't get these new anymore. But I mean, if it was brand new, like you're 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 still looking at like five six hundred bucks. Uh, you know, for for something like this that has force feedback and everything. So, you know, why would somebody spend that kind of money on something if it's not going to fucking pay off? You know, I mean, I was very hesitant to, to get. A wheel because I was afraid it, it would totally suck. Uh, it would be a problem, you know. So, so the issue is not with the wheel. It's not with my settings. It's with the game itself. That the game is not set up for steering wheel, or or you have to spend hours and hours for for each goddamn fucking car to to set it up so it, it's controllable with with the wheel, which is. You know, it doesn't make any fucking sense. You know. Like, I, sh I should be getting better times with the wheel. But that's... I don't know. It's... It's appalling that they do that. Like, I mean, I like racing with the wheel. It's fun. I like the. I like the engage. It's very engaging. You know, you got your brakes, you got your accelerator. You know, it kind of it kind of makes you feel more involved. Uh, you know, because like you're you're using, you know, you're coordinating, and it's just it's a more fun experience uh, when. When I play uh, a set of Corsa, I mean, the wheel just works fucking perfect with every fucking car. I, I don't have to change any settings whatsoever, uh, you know, uh, regardless of what car I get into. Uh, same thing with grid and uh, racing, racing room, iRacing. And uh, Euro Trucking Simulator. Like, I'm doing really well in all those games with this thing. You know, this is the only game. If, even Forza Horizon 5, I did pretty damn good with this. You know, as, 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 good, as good as I'm going to do with it. It was still, there was still some kind of difficulty, but I should say Forza Horizon 4, Forza Horizon 5, for some weird reason, they don't got it set up so I can use the fucking racing wheel, which is stupid. I mean, it's just like, you know, people who play a racing game, that the reason why you get uh, a racing wheel is is because you you want that enjoyment. You, you, you want to be like, um, you know, 
whether it's realistic or not, you kind of want that feel and, you know, at least that's what I, what I wanted. Like, I mean, that's the reason why I got it. So I could enjoy, you know, racing and driving, you know, because, you know, like I can't, I can't go out on the 401 highway in, in, in a fucking Porsche and, 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 you know, like go 300 clicks an hour, uh, and get away with it because if I do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a ticket. I'm gonna lose my car. I'm gonna lose my license. You know, so this is the next best thing to that. And you know, it's just kind of, but you know, when 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 they make it inconsistent like this and and just make it so you can't have any fun in driving. You know, it's just pure, uh, you know, you know, if, you know, I just, I'm, I'm at a level loss for words. You know, I'm just so upset that, you know, I thought that I I was on to something that, okay, well, I had the issue fixed and, and all that, and I'm going to jump in. And the first thing I did when I got done doing the last stream was I jumped into this car because it's one of my favorite fucking cars. And, and I got into it. I love the way it looks and just figure I jump into that car and start driving around. And then all of a sudden it's fucking handling like shit. You know, I can't, I can't control, I can't control it. You know, and you know, it, it, you know, it's just, it, it comes to the point where like, why didn't the makers of the game make it wheel friendly? You know, it's just, it, it's like almost, they, they got an agenda and they're dead set on saying you must use a controller, you know, and then, and then they're trying to say it, it's a racing sim. Well, if, if they want to emulate real racing, get rid of the goddamn fucking uh, suggested line, get rid of this fucking uh, blind driving bullshit, get rid of all that shit, you know, and, you know, the only assist that you have are, you know, your traction control, automatic transmission, you know, you know, so, you know, it's, I don't know. Sorry, guys, I'm tired. It's like uh, almost one o'clock in the morning here. But anyway, I did, I did my review. Uh, and no matter, no matter what, and no matter how hard I try to find the good things in this game, I can't find anything good about this game. I, I really can't. It, it's, you know, it, it isn't, it isn't any good. I mean, I really, really want it. When this game was, when, when, when I heard that the game was going to be coming out and everything, I had my hopes up. I'm like, well, good. Let's let's hope it, it, it's exactly the way it was in uh, Forza Motorsports 2. You know, I would have been, you know, that, you know, I would have been happy with that. I would have had nothing. I had nothing but good things to say about Forza Motorsports 2. And then when, when Forza 3 came out, it, it 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 was a letdown. They they got rid of a few features that that I enjoyed, uh, you know, like the the ability to start your own public room where where you controlled all the settings, uh, you know. And if people didn't like how you had your room set up, they just went to somebody else's room and started their own public race, you know. I mean that that was great. Uh, introducing. The uh, the storefronts was a stupid idea, uh, you know. Like it it uh, it ruined it for people like me that like to put the cars out on the track, test them, drive them, and you know, and and put cool looking paint jobs on them and everything like that, and get them primed and ready for certain tracks. And then put it on the auction block, charge whatever the whatever I think it's worth, uh, no price caps, and you know, and, and I could, and, and that's that was the enjoyable part of the game for me, 
I, I, I love fucking doing that. Uh, and, you know, but, but then Forza 3, they started restricting how much money you could charge for your, for your car when you put on the auction block. And, and they, they try to say, well, used car, if, if you got a used car, it's going to sell for a lot less money, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. It's just like, well, the thing is, is, you know what, if I have a used car and, and I want to sell it, I can, I can set the price at whatever I want, whether or not somebody will buy it or not. That's another issue. But, but, but the force, you know, you know, and then, and then the storefronts was another stupid idea. You know, it, it you know, people started giving, uh, selling their tuning setups for 50,000 and then paint jobs on the car. And it ruined it for those of us who like, who, who actually put effort into a car and, and, and wanted to sell the full car, you know, and people are just giving fucking shit away. It was, you know, uh, Forza 3 was the downward trend for, for Forza, you know. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, and, and the only reason why I'm even doing this game is is just, uh, you know, one live streaming to show people how bad it is, you know. Uh, Show 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 people the monotony of of uh, for for the most part all I've been doing is just spending more time fucking doing up all the cars I like so that I can load them up so that I can put them at whatever class I, at the optimal class which you know uh, you know I'm wasting all my fucking time doing that because for as a fucked up a, a major aspect in the game where I could just get into it and start fucking playing, you know, and just, you know, like make enough money. I can afford to, I, I may get enough credits from winning races, use those credits to, to buy the upgrades and upgrade my car and shit like that. You know, it, it, you know, and uh, Forza 7, the only reason, you know, there wasn't really anything in it for me because, you know, I couldn't auction my fucking cars off. You know, I wasn't making, I couldn't charge whatever the fuck I wanted for my cars. So if, if I can't set my price, then, you know, and now this game, they completely fucking eliminated the auction block altogether because they're fucking fuck plots. You know, but, you know, you know, so, I mean, I really was hoping that. I could use my racing wheel and, and get great track times. I, I was like kind of hoping I would get better track times with the racing wheel, but they're actually a lot worse. I mean, a minute per lap. That's, that's, that's quite, that's quite a bit, you know, uh, you know, uh, sorry guys, I couldn't help you with, with, with having just one setup. That, that I could set the set the settings up where that setup is good for every fucking car. That's the way it should work in the game. But of course, they can't fucking do it that way because they're idiots. You know, I, I I was hoping that I would have one good like. I mean, I, I was ecstatic when when I was working with with that Corvette and, and I had that car working so I could do it. And and, and like I I I was I was happy because I was like thinking for once I thought that I. I figured one good point out in the game and I wanted to accentuate that, but you know, and then, and then I, I get into a race, you know, whatever, and, and figure I'm going to go into a race with my favorite car and I'm going to do quite well with my wheel, but and there's no reason why this should be better than this. You know, I mean, these things cost a lot more money. You know, uh, and, and when, when like I, I want to invest in to get in a really, really good racing wheel, uh, you know, a good, good, really good one. Uh, you know, and this is this I got this used. I got to use one just so that I could, you know, I have something I could, you know, try out. So while I like that, I mean, I, I like racing with these. Like on, on uh, like I said on on a set of Corsa, I racing racing room. Uh, grid, uh, you know, and, you know, it, it was fun. It was great. It was enjoyable. And my track times were, you know, 
not as good, but they were improving because I'm getting used to how this thing handles works. And I was hoping, I was really, really hoping that I, I could use this uh, in this game, you know, because that would be at least one positive thing for the game, you know. But unfortunately, it's sad to say, but there's not one positive thing about this game. Uh, really, it, 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 it's upsetting that, you know, it's it's just as bad as uh, Gran Turismo. I, I, I'll never play Gran Turismo ever again because I won't buy a PlayStation. Uh, I'm not going to waste my money on a console just for one fucking game. Like, even if they made it exactly how I wanted it to, I'm not going to, it's too late for that. I'm not going to waste my money on it. So that's the end of this stream. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe to all your friends. And I shall be back again some other time. This is Mr. Blackstone signing out, saying hell fucking Satan and hell I'm in rock.